Eric Galen Menendez, M E N E N D E Z. Mr. Menendez, you've been in this courtroom since the beginning of uh, pretrial hearings and trial, have you not? Yes, I have. Are you aware of the idiosyncrasies of that microphone? If you get too close, it pops. You oh, know that? Yes. If yes. you get too far away, we don't hear you. That's right. Okay. So would you put yourself at a middle distance, if you can? I think you should come in a little closer. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. All right. Mr. Menendez, where do you live? Los Angeles County Jail. And how long have you lived there? Three and a half years. And during the three and a half years that you have lived there, how long, on how many occasions have you been in sunshine? Ten times. Overall. Ten times? Ten times. And uh, for how long a period on each of those times? Forty, forty-five minutes. And what's the last time you were in the sunshine? Four, five, six months ago. Is that why you're so pale? Probably. You're not sick? No. You don't no, have any skin diseases? No. Do you know who Dr. William Vickery is? Yes. Yes, I do. And how long have you known him? Over three years, three and a half years. And what is he by profession? He's uh, a psychiatrist. And is he someone you've seen regularly while in the jail? Yes, he's, he's my psychiatrist. He's your psychiatrist? Yes. I think you better come to the closest. Thank you. And uh, does Dr. Vickery have you under a prescription for some medication currently? Yes. And what is the name of the medication? Uh, Xanax. And what is your understanding of what it's for? Objection Overall. Uh, for, uh, so that I can sleep and for my nerves. Are you a nervous person? Sometimes. And how often are you supposed to take the Xanax? Twice a day. And are you supposed to take it at night for sleep? Yes. Did you take it last night? Yes. Did you take it the night before? The night before, yes. Now, are you also supposed to take it during the day? Yes, I am. Have you not taken it today? No, I haven't. And are you planning on taking it during the day so long as you testify? Yes. You are? I'm, I'm planning on it, yes. Do you know if you will? No. Do you have some concerns about taking it while you're testifying? Yes. And why don't you tell us what those concerns are? Uh, I've been told that when you take Xanax... Um, oh, let me ask you something. Does it make you sleepy? Yes. Are you reluctant to take it when you need to be awake? Yes. The first day that you resided in the Los Angeles County Jail? March 11th, or the night of the 10th, or the 11th, um, 1990. And was that the day that you were arrested? Yes. And where were you arrested? At the uh, at L.A. airport. Los Angeles International Airport? Yes. And uh, did Detective Zoller arrest you there? Yes, he did. <laughs> and how did you come to be at Los Angeles International Airport? I uh, flew in from Mi Miami and London. And. Where had you started out on that journey? I was in Israel playing tennis. And was your coach, Mark Heffernan, in Israel with you? Yes, he was. And did you fly from Israel to some place and then stop? I flew from Israel to London. And then from London to? Miami. And from Miami to? L.A. Now, did something happen? Did you hear something in Israel that caused you to make that flight? Yes, I did. And what had you heard? Uh, my roommate um, called me and told me that my brother had been arrested. And your roommate's name was? Uh, Noel Nedley. And was Noel Nedley a man? 
Yes. And did you did Noel tell you, or did you understand what your brother was arrested for? I think he. I think he told me. Yeah. You knew it was for killing your parents. Yes. And when you learned that your, uh, and did you know your brother was charged or being charged or held on a murder charge? <coughs> well, I, I assumed. I mean, I knew it was for the killing of my parents, so I. So you knew it would, the charge would be murder. Yes. Did you learn before you left Israel that allegations had been filed against your brother of special circumstances that made it a potential death penalty case? Yes. No, I'm not sure I knew that before I left Israel, but I knew that in London. You knew at least that was the potential charges? Oh, yes. Yes, I knew that. And how soon after hearing that your brother was arrested uh, did you decide to leave Israel and come back to the United States? Immediately. And did you expect that when you came back, you would also be arrested? Yes. Did you understand there was a warrant out for your arrest? Uh, yes, I did. And did you understand you'd be arrested for the same thing your brother was being held on? Yes. Did you ever consider during that period of time running away? No. Did you consider hiding? No. Did you consider fighting extradition from either Israel or England? No, I didn't, I didn't want to fight extradition. Why? Because I wanted to be back with my brother. Why? Mr. Menendez, you've heard the testimony of your brother that you and he killed your parents on August 20th, 1989. Did you not? Yes, we did. And what do you believe was the originating cause of you and your brother ultimately winding up shooting your parents? Um, me telling. You telling what? Me telling Lyle that, uh... You telling Lyle what? <laughs> was it you telling Lyle about something that was happening? My dad. Okay. Oh. My dad. Verona, can I ask a leading question? If you don't uh, ask my dad. Just look, wait one second, Mr. Anders, okay? Let me ask No, no, him. he was in the process of answering, so there was no need to ask him. Can you answer the question? Yes. Okay, was you telling Lyle what? That my dad had been molesting me. And did you want something from your brother? Is that why you told him? I just I wanted to stop him. Were you seeking help from your brother? Yes. And when you were in Israel in 1990, did you feel that seeking help from your brother was why your brother was in jail? Yes. In the summer of 1989, Mr. Menendez, did you live with your parents, Jose and Mary Louise Menendez? Yes, I did. And how old were you? I was 18 years old. And had you always lived with your parents your whole life? Yes. You had never been sent away to school, boarding school, or anything like that? No. Had you, on a couple of occasions, gone away to camp for a week at a time? Yes. Other than that, did you always live with your folks? I guess I did. And in fact, as of that summer of 1989, 
had you taken all of your vacations with your parents? Yes. Had you ever been an exchange student or studied away from the city in which they lived? No. Mr. Menendez, during the summer of 1989, were you being sexually molested by your father? Yes. And when did that begin? How old were you? I was six years old. Now, you have seen Your parents both took a lot of photographs of you and your brother, is that right? Yes. Do you remember naked photographs being taken? Yes. And who would take the naked ones? My dad. But you don't remember that specific one being taken? No. Do you recall when it was that you first saw or shown that naked photograph of yourself? Um, just before I got to court. With why you've been in jail? Yes. How long, from the, from the time you were six when you say your father started to molest you, um, how long did that go on? <sighs> Twelve years. And were there episodes of sexual activity with your father over that last summer? Yes. Over the course of the 12 years, did the type of sexual activity that your father engaged in with you vary and change? Yes. Were there patterns to the behavior so that there were actually different kinds of sexual incidents with your father? Overall. Yes. And did you come over the years to give those different kinds of sexual incidents names? Yes. And would you tell us what were the names that you gave to those different types of incidents? Um, knees. Uh, Knees? Knees. K-N-E-E-S? Yes. That was one type? Yes. What was another type? Um, nice sex. Nice sex. Nice sex. What yeah. was another kind? Um, rough sex. Rough sex. And was there another kind still? Yes. And what name did you come to give that kind? Just sex. You called that sex? Yes. And was that that you called sex some form of intercourse? Yes. When before your father died was the last incident of what you called sex? Um, in May. Of what year? 1989. And when before your father died was the last incident of knees? In August. Of what year? 1989. And that last incident of knees took place in what location? My bedroom. The bedroom that Detective Zoller was just identifying photographs of? Yes. Over the course of those 12 years between age 6 and age 18, 
Where did most of the sexual incidents with your father take place? In my bedroom. Starting at which house? In Muncie. And did episodes of sexual activity between yourself and your father also take place in the next house you lived in on Mill Road? Yes. And did similar incidents occur when you lived in the house in Pennington on Lakeshore Drive? Yes. And were there incidents in the fancy house on Mountain Avenue in Princeton? Yes. And were there incidents in the rented house in Calabasas? Yes. And were there incidents in the big mansion in Beverly Hills? Yes. Can you just put this in the picture? I'm just going to show it to you. This is the naked picture of you that you were testifying about. Yes. Does it embarrass you, this picture? Yes. What exhibit number was that? Your Honor, that one is um, 232. 